It is Friday. It is? Thank goodness. I don't know if y'all's week's been as long as mine, but it's been a long week. It's been a very long week for sure. Well, how's life on the Matco truck? We're here. <laughs> it's been it's been it's been adventurous. Uh, last week we had uh, three days that we had to take off for three different kids. Uh, between sickness and getting hurt and everything else and then uh, this week we've had uh, tire issues on the truck so it's always here comes five o'clock right <laughs> that's right you got to have the bad weeks to, to to go along with the good weeks so absolutely but other other than that it's been a really good week i mean we we uh can't complain too much it could always be worse there you go well somebody's gonna win that green flex head ratchet today so. see that make it an even better week right there be pretty good day for somebody it's gonna make somebody's week for sure well looks like y'all got a bunch of colored pry bars so we had a meeting last weekend and we did pick up some pry bars um pry bars test lights a couple different things was at the meeting um here and there, but uh, I know the purple pry bars was one thing that was there. Uh, the we had the purple screwdrivers hadn't come in yet, have they? Uh, so there, there's a couple more things that's going to come in, but this week uh, just come in. They were supposed to have already been in. Uh, these sunglasses are going to be new. Okay. Uh, so we'll take our first look at them together. I've seen pictures, but I haven't seen them. So you get kind of a live reaction because I hadn't even seen them. So, Alrighty, so we have the gray and the blue and white. Looks nice. I like the looks of them. Yeah, those look cool. So there's that. Somebody's gonna ask if your dealer needs it, you may just pull the video up. Our part numbers are kind of weird when it comes to the Oakley part numbers. Uh, I swear I type the number in on the box and sometimes it pulls right up <laughs> and then sometimes they change one number or something. It kind of reminds me of like that BMW M5 logo. Yeah. The way the stripe pattern is on those. Sunglasses cool. are always cool. Um, there is a new impact coming in uh, it's a palm impact. It some of the distributors have already got them, so you may already be seeing them out in the field. I haven't got mine yet. Um, just luck of the draw, I guess. But when it comes in, we will talk about it. Okay. But we do have these gloves. Everybody likes gloves, right? Mm -hmm. So before COVID, gloves were expensive anyway. Then COVID come around, gloves got stupid expensive to where you learned to work without gloves pretty mm -hmm. much. And that's um, a bad thing. Yeah, well I stopped carrying gloves during the whole ordeal because it become to where it was like 50, 60, $70 a box. Yeah. I, I mean, especially if you're, uh, whether you do it as a hobby or even if you're just getting started into the field and you're changing oil, Sadly, 70 bucks is a big portion of your paycheck. Like, yep. you know, you're not making the greatest change in oil. So, yeah, it's costing like $2 a pair. To yeah, work, so. I mean, well, that, and I mean, you're still trying to buy tools too. You're trying to further your education in it. And you can't, the gloves is not going to help you work on a car. Right. I mean, it's it's not going to further your um, positioning any. So, it may keep you get from getting fired from getting the interior dirty, but mm -hmm. still, I mean, that's that's a lot of money. But anyways, I think, what are these selling for? Yeah, so, I mean, 13, 14 bucks, and you've got yeah, it's uh, worth a pair that, of gloves yeah. for 100, and I mean, they do have the grip. That was a big thing. Yeah, We have some other gloves that's really good, um, but they were around 23, 24, uh, and that's still kind of high for gloves, but you know, 13, 14 bucks for a hundred pair. You can't beat that. So sure. popular. Also, we had a lot of requests last week, um, for these magnets. It mm -hmm. seems like these come in waves. Um, you would think that they'd break a whole lot more than they do. They actually don't. Um, 
The only time that I really see them break is when people start bending them right at the end here. Yeah. Because this is aluminum. It's, it's not, you know, indestructible. But, you know, these come in handy, uh, especially when you're doing, like, timing jobs and stuff like that. But also, I have seen uh, when you do spark plugs and stuff, a lot of times uh, you, you take the plug out, you turn around, you get something, you come back. Uh, 99% of the time nothing happens but I have seen like the little push clips that go on the uh, air hoses and mm -hmm. stuff like that that go into the intake we had a guy that actually dropped one of those down into the cylinder oh no didn't realize it started the truck up it ate it real quick so what we was able to do is we was able to put this down in there it actually bends, so it was able to get all the metal lucky for us uh, well lucky for him didn't scratch the cylinder wall. We was able to get a camera in there, see the cylinder wall. Um, we showed the customer, the customer was fine with it. Mistakes happened, no damage to the cylinder wall. Um, but if we hadn't have done that, you'd have been pulling the head trying to get oh, all yeah. that off or stick a vacuum cleaner or something. But right. there's more uses than just one, but I, there has been times when the straight magnet, you and I can't, will, can't get them in there. Well, the it doesn't bend. To, and if right? these do bend, it's, it's not, mm -hmm. uh, it's not gonna work. And you see the first thing I did with this one is I slid the collar back. Yep. I'm sure people love that collar. And I'm sure that uh, people use that collar. I'm not one of those people. Mm -hmm. I hate that collar. Cause it seems like every time it goes down there, it won't pick up my socket now. And then, right. which I get it, it keeps it from hitting everything on the way up and it does pull back. But uh, good strong magnet, flexible. These are good. These have their place too. I'm not saying throw these away. Um, but just a good strong magnet also. It's always nice to have options. That's right. For sure. Uh, I would have both. Uh, <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, buy, buy three or four of them. No. Uh, like probably my most commonly used tool every day was the little bitty pocket screwdriver that had the magnet on it. Yep. Because man, that thing would take out clips, it pop trim off, you know, pull in, you name it. Like that thing worked wonders for everything. And then, You'd always drop a socket in and it would go between the valve cover and something else and you could reach in there and snatch it out without having to walk. It was nice. Yeah, um, I was looking to see if I had one of those. I still have a spot on my eyelid. Um, I was doing a dash job and I was using one of them and I leaned forward. Uh, it was in my pocket. It stuck to the shifter. Well, I didn't realize it had stuck to the shifter. When I went to come back up, it, you know how those things, they don't just like stick and fall over. Yeah, they, they're sticking straight, straight out. Yeah. It caught my eyelid and uh, I guess I'm lucky it didn't poke my eye out or anything. But when I get really, really hot, that spot to where it hit, it, it still right itches fall, oh, just wow. as bad. And uh, never did it before. But after that time, I don't know what it is with the eyelid there, but it uh, it got me. I've almost stabbed myself getting in and out of cars too. I've lost, ain't no telling how many of them going underneath the trucks on a creeper. You'd squeeze through there and then when you'd slide out, it would grab the yeah. frame or something and you'd look under there and it'd be hanging straight down, you know? Well, I was bad about reaching into the, like reaching over into the car and cranking it from the outside and coming back and the magnet would get stuck there. And then when yeah. I'd go back, you'd like hopefully see it before it stabbed mm -hmm. you in it. But you know, that was, that was always fun too. This is also a new light. Okay. And uh, you saw me open it up here. Uh, I thought we was gonna talk about it and show it, but it looks like I get to assemble it first, but we'll talk about it anyway. And then next week, if I still have it, we'll show the finished product. Uh, Cause I don't wanna look like an idiot trying to assemble it. <laughs> but it it supposed, don't look like it's too bad. It's got no, the little it's, slots. Yeah, I got the little slots there. there. Uh, got an extra one over here. That's just a red light with uh, the white on the end of it. So you don't even know how to operate it just yet. Yeah, well, we'll figure it out. It's uh, supposed to be a thousand lumens. Looks like it's a double power pack. Yeah, so, it is, so. It, yeah, it's a double power pack. And then uh, we'll do the breakdown on it. Guys, I unloaded the box this morning. So <laughs> if, it, uh, if you're wondering why I don't know this product, uh, this is probably the first time in five years that I've ever not known it, but so it looks like combined with all all of them, you got a thousand lumens. Uh, spot on high is 690, spot on low is 445, and flood on high is 620. 
and then uh, you got everybody likes to know the run time so the spotlight on high runs eight hours and 30 minutes spot on low is 33 hours wow. that'll never get done nobody no, will ever nobody use that runs one it on high. and then uh, flood high is going to be nine hours flood low is 34 hours if you do the combined high, which I figure is what people's going to do the most of, you're looking at about four hours. So that's still decent. Yeah, you know, that's man, still. That's I mean, you don't expect. Uh, I have seen people wear these all day, but most mm -hmm. of the time people put them on, do the job, and then take them right, right. back off. So you'll probably get used to plugging them back into the charger or something like that. It does say two times the power uh, power pack. It is a built-in USB-C. I know. Uh, the C port is what everybody likes. Right. And hopefully everything goes to that charging port and not jumping back and forth mm. to the old ones. But and it's got that's pretty cool that you can charge one pack while you're using it and then switch them out. Right? Know, yeah, that's the that. upgraded runtime. Yeah, but pretty cool design there for sure. Pretty nice little lot. So we got and on the top of it here, it looks like they've got the flood option. Then they've got the spot option. And I'm guessing the middle is the red, yep, and green. So we can do Christmas time. There you go. There we go. Yep, so there's there's those two on together. That's a pretty neat line. I will try and be sure and have this on the truck next week and, mm -hmm. and, and play with it throughout the day and get a little bit more knowledgeable on it and stuff like that. Sure. But I wanted to have a new tool. There wasn't a video last week, so get a new That's tool, um, show everybody. That's kind of like those neck lights you got, you know, those yeah. things are nice. I yep. like those a lot. Pretty pretty cool design anyway. I like it. Cool. Well, I guess we'll cut the video here and we'll announce the winner and, and do all that. And then we'll come back and wrap things up. So let's see who won it. All right, guys, like you've seen in the video, now we're going to be choosing the winner for the green Matco Locking Flex Head 3H Drive Ratchet. So the way we're gonna be doing this is by the YouTube random comment picker. Now I have no idea who it's going to choose. It's just got an app. I'll put a screenshot of this live and that way you guys can see it over here on the side, exactly what my phone is doing. And that way you guys can see that it's a completely random and fair drawing. Now we're gonna be doing a lot more of these drawings on the channel. It's gonna be completely random. I'm not gonna put it in the title. I'm not going to announce giveaway in any sort of way, so if you want to win, you will have to watch the stuff on the channel. One of the stipulations is you do have to be subscribed to the channel, like the video, and do whatever's in the video to enter you into the drawing. On that video, um, before I go any further, and we announced the winner last time when we did the winner, somebody tried to act like they was that person and like... Quit being a scam artist, guys. Like, if you didn't win, you didn't win. Um, we're going to be doing a little bit of a verification this time, not like we did last time. Um, so let's get to it and let's pick a winner. So I have the random comment picker open here on my phone. And the way it works, you paste the link, hit and fetch, not including replies, and continue. So now it's loading through all of the comments that was in the video. I think it was around 1,300 of them. I appreciate you guys that entered this drawing. But unfortunately, there can only be one winner, and we're fixing to find out who that is. So it shows 1,315 comments. We pick a winner, and it is Lane Elliott. So Lane, be sure to contact me at the email address below coon trucking 101 um, i will have to go in and verify that you are subscribed to the channel and we'll go from there i'll actually cut this video i'll do that and then we'll come back if you're not subscribed to the channel we'll probably have to pick another winner because that is the stipulation. I mean, after all, if I'm gonna spend that kind of money to give you a tool, the least you could do is subscribe to the channel. So let me check that and we'll get back going. All right, so I found your comment, I'm scrolling down. We're going to go to your channel and we'll go to your channel. It says this channel does not feature any other channels. So obviously, maybe because of whatever reason you have your subscription set as private, 
Send me the email. I'll get you to verify that you indeed are subscribed to the channel and you will be the winner. If I don't hear from you, you know, today is Friday. If I don't hear from you by like Wednesday or Thursday of next week, we will do an Instagram live or a YouTube live and we will redraw for the winner. So that's the winner guys. Let's get back out to the truck, finish the video. And like always, thanks. Be sure to watch the videos because you never know what video they're going to be in, but we will be doing some more giveaways and I'm hoping to have some little bit bigger stuff coming in the future. So you guys be sure to pay attention to that. All right, guys. So there you go. That is the winner. So be sure to contact me per the instructions in that segment of the video. And that way you can get your stuff shipped to you. Like always, guys, thanks for hanging out with us. It is finally, 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 finally Friday. Thank goodness. Like always, hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise. Cool tools and discount codes down here. If you're not subscribed, click that button. Y'all stay tuned for more giveaways and stuff. See ya.